So the Yankees took the rubber game of a three-game series today against the Nationals. Uh, second walk-off win in a row. And yesterday was Labor Torres with a walk-off hit. Today was Giancarlo Stanton with a walk-off hit. And um, they won the game 3-2. to two. And it was, you know, all in all, a pretty well-played game. What I like about this series is all three games, they were, they, they were solid pitching duels. I mean, the first game, Cole versus Corbin. You know, he left Lee, but the Yankees bullpen unfortunately blew it. And uh, they wound up losing the game. Yesterday, Corey Kluber versus Max Scherzer. It turned out to be another pitching duel. And today was Domingo Herman versus Joe Ross. And Herman today went six and a third. There were two runs, six strikeouts. And then he was relieved by Michael King, who came in and threw one and a third, flawless innings. And Rolas Chapman came in for a scoreless ninth. And then uh, Wandy Peralta came in and um, won a, a, third, a third of an inning. So... Uh, but the Yankees wound up walking off uh, and to win the game 3-2. So it was all in all a good series. The Yankees are on, you know, the Yankees have won another series now. They're kind of trending in the right, the right direction. And I'm glad that they won today because I think they need that momentum heading into uh, Tampa. Now, you know, it, it's interesting because Luke Voigt's going to be uh, coming back uh, potentially this series. And... I'm hoping that they, you know, they consider maybe either only playing him a game or two or DHing him a couple games because he's coming off knee surgery and the turf's going to beat up the legs. And that's the last thing you want to do. We want to make sure that he eases back into the swing of things and making sure that he's healthy. So I'm hoping that the Yankees obviously take that into consideration, which I'm sure they're going to. But I mean, he's coming back. And then at the end of May, Zach Britton comes back. And uh, which is going to be another another great addition. I'm really curious to see what they do with the roster um, when when Voigt comes back. Are they going to option out Mike Ford? I, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. My guess is it's going to be Mike Ford because Voigt's looking very very good right now, and you know he's kind of the extra piece at this at this point. He's getting blocked by Mike Voigt, obviously. So I'm really curious to see what they do. Uh, Miguel Andujar's up, you know, and I think he needs a little bit of time to. <clears throat> find his rhythm at the major league level. He was hitting really well in the minors. I think it'll take a week or so. But I'm pretty confident in his bat, having shown that he's healthy coming back from labrum surgery. And um, yeah, I'm pretty confident that he'll be okay. Mike Ford, you know, has had some solid hits as well. But, um, he, he, you know, he's not lighting the world on fire. Neither are, you know, most of the other players. Neither is Clint Frazier, neither is Tyler Wade. So, and, and there's a bunch of them that are not crushing the ball. I mean, even DJ LeMahieu, he's, you know, his back, his bat is back, and, um, you know, he's, he's headed in the right direction, but, you know, he's still, I mean, and, and of course, it's comparing him to an out-of-worldly 360-plus season this year, last year in 2020, so, you know, my, my, I'm guessing he'll be between three, you know, hitting three and 310, and that would be a good season, but we'll see. That remains to be seen. Um, other offensive performances today were Gleyber Torres hit a solo home run. And we had a couple of hits across the board. Gardner, Hicks, and DJ LeMahieu. Not a ton of hits. One, two, three, four. Only about five hits for the Yankees. But they were timely. And, you know, that that's all that matters if they won the game. So they took two out of three from the Nationals. A good, you know, a good overall series. And uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see how the Nationals stand over the next month or two heading into the trading deadline because... I really think that if they're out of it, and they know they're out of it, they could become sellers and put Max Scherzer on the market and even some other guys on the market. And if Scherzer becomes available, if I were GM, I'd be all over it. I would be all over it. And even though he's got only a full season left, you know, he's the type of guy that is, you know, he's 37, and he's the type of guy still dominating, like, you know, only five other, four or five other people in baseball. So it would be worthwhile to bring him back on a, you know, a one- or two-year deal if they could. And, uh, you know, but it, there's a chance it might bump him over the salary tax this year. But keep in mind, he was making $30 million a year, but it was stretched out to 14 years instead of seven. It was initially a seven-year, $210 million a year, but the Nationals stretched it out to 14 years and at 15 per year. So to, to avoid kind of luxury tax penalties and stuff like that. So I'm not exactly sure if the Yankees would be on the hook uh, at anything beyond this year. You know, those other $15 million per year, I, I don't think it would be fair if I didn't do that. But I could see, I could see him coming. I, I would also watch out for the Tampa Bay Rays. I think they need another pitcher, and the Toronto Blue Jays need another pitcher. The teams in the East would be more than happy to bring on Max Scherzer. I mean, this guy's not a regular, regular Joe Schmo. This is Max Scherzer. He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, 
and uh, any team who grabs him is going to be pretty lucky. I know he's happy in, in Washington. He's absolutely beloved there, but team will pay if they're out of contention. They definitely will. So uh, I would keep an eye out on Scherzer. I'd keep an eye out on some other pitchers as well. But um, speaking of, well, not speaking of pitching, but um, pitching and hitting, my last trade proposal video was this morning, and uh, it's a trade that the Tigers and the Cardinals should be working on together. And I think I think you'll find it interesting. My next trade proposal with the, has to do with the Rockies and the Angels, and these are all need-based trades. They're not massive blockbuster trades right now. But that said, and I said this in another video, excuse me, it's a bug. That um, the, the the minimal, not the minimal trades, but the more low-profile trades like these tend to be the ones that make the biggest impact, especially at the deadline. When they bring in some incremental guys and you know, just smaller deals and whatnot or medium-sized deals, not the big deals don't always work out. You know, the more often, you know, than not, they don't work out. But that doesn't mean they bring in somebody of significance or you know, big-time significance that it's not going to happen. But you never really know. But so that's the Yankees. Your recap it was a three-two game. They won the series two games to uh, two games to one. So they took it, and now I head now to Tampa to play the Rays for a series. So. You know, hit that uh, hit that uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. I kept it short and sweet. There wasn't a lot of offensive uh, statistics to really brag about. and uh, But you know you know pretty much what the Yankees did. Had a couple base hits and a timely home run. And then a walk-off hit by Giancarlo Stanton. So, and I'm, gl I'm really glad that he's playing well. I hope he continues to play well. So, that's it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I'm doing a giveaway at 2,000 subs. We're almost a little over 20 away. So, if you hit your name, you're automatically in the running for it. Okay, and you'll be in the running for my next milestone, which will be at 3,000 and 4,000. I'm going to do one every 1,000 subscribers so that, um, and each one's going to be bigger. So, um, hope that you'll consider supporting the channel on a regular basis, become one of the regular watchers. Whether you agree with the proposals or other videos or not, always put your comments and, you know, your feedback in the comments. I welcome dialogue, as long as it's respectful dialogue back and forth between either you and me or you and other folks. So, that's all I ask. But, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.